morning. Oh, good morning, my dear children. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. 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 I am also excellent. Thank you. So, shall we start today's session? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma so, today I am going to start a topic which is very interesting, a different kind of topic. So, are you all ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, before, before I introduce the topic to you, I am going to share the screen and I am going to show you an image. What should you do? You have to observe the image very carefully. Whoever is interested in talking, you have to put your hand up and wait for your turn. Okay? So, shall I share the board now? Yes. Yes. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, the Herculean task. You need not talk anything. I told something before sharing the picture. I just told you something. You just need to look at the screen and... Uh, think, what do you feel when you look at this pic? Look at this pic. How do you feel and what is your feeling? Superman. Okay, my dear children, please observe these two pictures. And I want you to come up with your own opinion and observations, right? Yes. So I can see Ashwati putting the hand up. Yes, Ashwati, tell me. Ashwati, are you there? Dara? Yes, Dara. I can see Dara's hand also. Ma'am, ready for action. What is that? Ready for the action. Okay. Yes. Looking at this picture, she feels that. Who is this, my dear Dara? Whom do you see on the screen here? Spider-Man. Is it a Spider-Man? Superman. Superman. This is Spider-Man. What about this? Yes. Superman. Yes. Yes, Dara. Tell me, what do you feel? The, the, as Dara told, as she sees the Superman, Superman is ready for some kind of action. Yes, Preet, what do you feel? Superman and Spider-Man. What is it, Preet? Superman and Spider-Man. That I know, Superman, Spider-Man. What is your feeling? How do you feel after looking at the Spider-Man and Superman? That's what I want to know. Are you always waiting for some kind of energetic responses here yes. after showing? Yes, Aishwarya. Ma'am, one is jade and one is powerful. One is? Jade and one is powerful. Okay, okay. Alga, Alga is ready. Yes, Alga. Ma'am. Yes, tell me. Alga is feeling shy to give me the answer. Alga, I'll come back to you after some time. Yes, Ashwari, are you ready? Is your audio okay? No, you have to check your audio. What about others? Vaiga, Vaiga. Yes, Ashwari, give me the answer, Ashwari. They both are ready to fight the evil out of this world. Oh, very good. They both are ready to fight. To fight against the evil. Yes, Ashwati. Good. Why ga? Thank you, ma'am. Why ga? Ma'am? Yes. I want to become a superwoman and I will save the world. Okay. I, why ga? It's not audible to me. It's not very clear, but I understood something. Yes, Agnal Baiju. Agnal Baiju. Yes, give me the answer, Agnal Baiju. Spider-Man first appeared in the August 1962 comic book. Oh, okay. That's what. Okay. Do you want to say something, Agnal Baiju? No, ma'am. Okay. What about others? Have you not watched these two people somewhere in the cartoons or in uh, some movies? Man, right. Man. Okay. Now, one point I have understood as Ashwati told us that uh, they are the superheroes who fight against the evil. So I just wanted to get the word hero from you. That word, I got it. Now my next question is, what are the qualities that you look forward in a hero? Now see, you watch plenty of movies. There we have a hero, a figure, hero. Yes. So what are the qualities that you look for a hero? I want you to, don't you watch movies? Don't you watch movies? 
Yes, Don't you watch cartoons? Yes, Have you not watched the Spider-Man movie? Yes, right? Don't watch the kind of movies where you have got a huge eye. You look for some kind of qualities, right? So what are the qualities that you look for in a hero? No answer? Yes, my dear Ashwadi, what is that quality that you look forward in a hero? The hero should always be strong and oh. kind. Okay, the hero should always be strong and kind. Good point, Preet. Thanks. Yes, Preet. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, you should have a superhero suit. Superhero coat. What is a superhero coat, Preet Ramesh? Do you have a su suit? Suit. What is that? Suit. Ah, that's what I'm asking. Do you have this kind of suit? Superhero suit, do you have? No, ma'am. Ah, no. Okay, good point. Aishwarya. Ma'am, good adventures. Okay, he should be ready to take up any adventure. That's what she wants to say, right? She, the hero should be ready to take up any plan to fight against the evil, to fight for the people. Yes, yeah. Ma'am? Yes. Uh, hero should be brave. Hero should be brave enough, courageous enough. Good point, Zia. Good point. Sarah, do you want to say something, Sarah? Unmute your device, Sarah, and give me the point. Yes. Unmute your device, my dear Sarah, and give me the point which you want to give. So the hero should be kind, the hero should be strong, the hero should be brave, the hero should be courageous, the hero should have, you know, uh, the suit which makes him a superhero. Okay, is there any other quality that you look forward? Yes, Agnivesh. They have superpowers. They should have superpowers. They should have superpowers. Super powers. Yes, good point. What about Neja, Deva, Rajan, Christina, Rachel, Rupika? Have you not seen these kind of superheroes somewhere? Yes, Zia. Zia has got something else to tell. I'm clever. Clever? Yes. The superhero should be clever. What about Rajan? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Rajan. What do you feel? I'm, uh, I'm so to feel. I'm seeing the movies. No, Rajan, my question is, what do you look, which qualities do you look for in a hero? That is what my question is. Now, see, hero, when hero comes, the hero should be brave, courageous, kind, clever. He should have the superpower, right? To hit anyone who uh, do something wrong, right? So these all qualities we look for a superhero. Yes, Preet Ramesh. Preet Ramesh has got something else. I'm handsome. <laughs> The superhero should be handsome. Preet, if the superhero is not handsome, what is the problem? Nothing. Oh, okay. 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 You want this meaning of handsome? Yes, Agnivesh, what is that? What is meaning of handsome? Handsome means what? Having good looks. Okay. Okay, Agnivesh, did you understand what is the meaning of handsome? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, Sarah, what do you want to say? First, you have to unmute your device, Sarah, then only you can talk. Aishwarya? Ma'am, helpful and honesty. Honest, honest. We don't say honest. Can you honest. He should now? be very helpful and at the same time, he should be an honest man. So these Excuse are the qualities that we... Uh, these are the qualities that we look for in a superhero or in the hero. So shall we start our chapter? Hope so you might have got an idea of which lesson am I talking about? I'm talking about the lesson, the Herculean task that is on the page number. Please take the English literature textbook part two. We are going to start with the new lesson on the page number 26, the Herculean task. Okay. So you might have got an idea. As I told you, we are going to start with the new lesson on the page number 26, that is the Herculean task. Now, who is going to give me the meaning of Herculean? I want the meaning of the lesson Herculean. Who is going to give me the meaning of? Yes. 
So we are going to start with the lesson number 13, that is the Herculean task. Right? Now, is there anyone who knows the meaning of this word Herculean? What do you mean by that word? Okay, my dear Ashwadi, what is, yes, Rajan, I'll, I'll be back to you. Okay, Rajan, yes, Ashwadi, give me the meaning of the word Herculean. Herculean is what? It huh. means the hero of Rome. Yes, Her uh, yes, Ashwadi, please be a little bit louder, my dear. Hero of Rome. Hero of Rome. No, I am not talking about Hercules. I am talking about the term Herculean task. Why it is told like that? Okay, good try. Good try, Ashwadi. Good try. I think so, Sarah has to check your uh, device, my dear Sarah. Yes, my dear Preet, what do you understand by the word Herculean? Well, his... Yes, Preet? Well, uh, his... What is it? His. I didn't get you. I didn't get you. Yes. So shall I give the meaning of the word Herculean task? Please take a pencil. Yes, Najad has got something to say. Yes, Najad. What do you want to say, Najad? Um, yes, um, Najad. Uh, yes. A, a big task. Okay. A task which is extremely difficult. Very good, Najad. Excellent. Okay, well done. So what is the meaning of Herculean task? A task or an action that is extremely difficult. Yes, Dara, what do you want to say, Dara, my dear? A tough and difficult work. Dara, be a little bit louder. A tough and difficult job. Okay, tough and difficult task. Very good, very good. So please take your pencil and just write the meaning of the word Herculean task on the page number 26. Any, you can write any job or task, any job or task. Agnel, please write my dear, any job or task that is extremely difficult. That's extremely This is the meaning of the word Herculean task. A task or a job that's extremely difficult where a lot of courage or enormous lot of strength is needed to accomplish or to in order to conquer the task. Okay, so Herculean task means any job or task that is extremely difficult. That is the name of the lesson, the Herculean task. Now, do you know what is this lesson about? Do you have any idea about this lesson? Yes, Bumi. Mythology. Bumi, just be a little bit louder, my dear. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, Bumi, now I can hear you. Ma'am, ma mythology. What is that? Mythology. Okay, she is telling something which I am not able to understand. So, shall I narrate you the story? Yes, Rajan has got something to say. Yes, tell me, Rajan, what is that? Mom, can I go to, can I leave the class? I go. Yes, Agnel Baiju, what do you want to say, my dear? In the lesson, we are studying about power people. We are going to learn about the powerful people, that is powerful hero, right? We are going to learn about a hero who is very powerful, who is very courageous, who has got enormous strength, a lot of strength. That's what we are going to learn. Yes, Preet Ramesh, what do you want to say? about Hercules. About? Hercules. Hercules. We are going to learn about a powerful hero called Hercules. Now I'm going to narrate the story to you. Just don't open any book. If you have opened the book, just close your book and just listen to the story. Then I want you to narrate the story in your own words after listening to my story. Is that okay? Ready? So listen carefully. Listen carefully. I start the story here. So once upon a time, there was a king, right? What was the name of the king? The king's name was King Eurystheus. What was the name of the king? King Eurystheus. King Eurystheus, one day he was very much worried. He was very much tensed. Why? Because Hercules was becoming very powerful. 
and he because he was very courageous and people started liking him and people started calling him a hero okay what happened to king eurystheus he was very much worried why because hercules had a lot of power and he was very courageous he he finished or he completed all the tasks which were given by king eurystheus Uh, successfully without any problem so after complete completing all the tasks he became a hero so people accepted him as a hero so looking at this what happened to king eurystheus he was feeling jealous he was worried so next day what did he do he thought of a plan who thought of a plan king eurystheus thought of a plan he calls hercules and he says that there is one more task that you have to accomplish Hercules says, "Yes, I am ready for the task. I am ready for the job. Please tell me what is that." So, what did Hercules say? "You have to go to the garden of Hesperides. Where should he go? Hercules had to go to the garden of Hesperides in order to get golden apples. Right? Now, what is this uh, garden of Hesperides? Garden of Hesperides is a mythical garden. Now, what is the meaning of mythical garden? A garden which is there only in the imagination which is not true okay i'll explain to you when i am explaining the whole lesson now just listen to the story so hercules uh, was ready to go to the garden of hesperides to collect the golden apples so he started his journey on the way whom did he meet he met a nymph n y m p h whom did he meet he met he met a nymph now who is this nymph nymph is a female spirit that lives in the forest and the mountains okay then as he met nymph nymph told you have to go and meet a man who is there on the shore he will help you to get this golden apples from the garden of hesperides but she told one thing once you meet this man you should hold him tightly why did she say so she told because the man if you don't hold him tightly he will just get out of your grip so you should uh, hold him tightly so what did hercules do hercules started jo his journey and he found this man sleeping on the shore there quietly he went and he just caught this man very tightly without leaving him the man was scared the man asked him what do you want he said i just want to get the golden apples from the garden of hesperides so this uh, man he tried to become see now hercules was holding the man very tightly as he was holding this man was trying to become a deer he was trying to become a kraken c k r a k e n what is this kraken kraken is a dragon 100 sorry not uh, not a dragon it is something like a sea animal see animal just like a just like an octopus okay he tried to change his um looks like a deer like an octopus and he tried to scare hercules but hercules was not at all scared then the man told if you want the golden apples you should go and meet a man called antius who is this man antius and he said antius is a very short tempered man what is the meaning of short tempered a man who gets is angry very easily so now hercules started walking to antius he met antius and he told i want golden apples from the garden of hesperides the man got angry why should i help you to get the apples who are you just get out go away from here but what did hercules do hercules lifted the man in the air he was a short tempered man so hercules was very powerful he lifted the man in the air and he was holding the man in the air and the man got scared and he told yes i will help you i will help you i am ready to help you to get the golden apples from the from the garden of hesperides but he told one thing it's not at all easy to get the golden apples why this garden is guarded by a dragon which has got 100 heads so just imagine a dragon which has got 100 heads and this dragon never sleeps okay 
So what is the speciality of this dragon? And what is the name of this dragon? Laden, L-O-L-A-D-O-N. What is the name of this dragon? Laden, what is the speciality of this dragon? This dragon has got 100 heads and he guards the garden of Hesperides without taking rest, without sleeping. So he said it's not possible. Only one way it is possible. Uh, only one way uh, you can get the golden apples of Hesperides if you go and meet Atlas. Okay, now who is this Atlas? Atlas, it is believed, according to Roman mythology, it is believed that Atlas is a man who is carrying the whole earth on the shoulder. Can you see on the page number 28, there is a man who is holding the earth on the shoulder. Who is he? He is Atlas. Now, Hercules, it was not possible for him to fight against this dragon. So what did he do? He just went directly to Atlas and he told, my dear Atlas, are you not tired of holding this earth on your shoulder? Should I help you? Then Atlas told, yeah, you can help me. But Hercules told, if you want me to help, I also want you to get the golden apples from the garden of Hesperides. So what did Atlas do? Atlas was very happy. Why? Because there was someone to share the weight. So he just took the earth and gave to Hercules and he walked into the garden of Hesperides and got bought the golden apples and gave to the gave to Hercules. And what did Hercules do? Hercules do. Hercules again gave back the earth to Atlas. So like this, what did Hercules do? Hercules returned back to the kingdom, came back to the kingdom and gave the apples to King Eurystheus. Now what happened to King Eurystheus when he saw the golden apples in the hands of Hercules? He just fainted. He fell unconscious. Why? Because he had given him such a kind of task, a task which was extremely difficult. But what did Hercules do? Hercules was able to was able to get the apples from the from the from the garden of Hesperides. So this is the story. Now you just tell me, did you like the story? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma you like the story? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is it, Sarah? Sarah, I think so. I think so. You need not talk everybody together at once. What is it, Sarah? What do you want to say, Sarah? Sometimes it was funny, sometimes it was very uh romantic. Sometimes funny and sometimes romantic. Scary. Scary. Okay. So no, shall, we, like shall, that. we, no, shall we start with the tell. lesson? Now look at the look at the no, I want to tell something to you. Now look at the Mom, I think here. This is a god, I think. Mom? Now look at the screen here. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the lesson, the Herculean task. What is the meaning of the word Herculean? The task which is very difficult. So he is Hercules. Look at the hero of the story. Look at the hero of the story. He is the hero of our story. He is Hercules. And who is King Eurystheus? He is King Eurystheus who gave an extremely difficult task to Hercules. Right? Then what is this? This is the Kraken. I told you a sea animal. Sea animal. Do you remember that man whom he held tightly? And man was getting changed into different shapes like deer and this is kraken this is octopus then ma'am that is like a octopus i have seen in the 47 arena okay okay so he is atlas who is holding the earth uh, earth on the shoulder now what is this this is a dragon which has got 100 heads what is the, what is the main name of this dragon it is laden then comes our superhero then we have who are these? These are nymphs. Now, what is the meaning of nymph? Nymph means what? It is a female spirit who lives in the forest, right? It is only mythical, only in the imagination. Now, 
So with all these, we can learn, we can start. This is the garden of Hesperides where the golden apples grow, right? So we came across King Eurystheus, then Hercules, huh? after Hercules, then? Excuse me, ma'am. Just listen, just tell me. Yes, uh, yes. Let me you the, just let me tell you the whole story. After that, I will give you a chance to talk. So please. Ma'am, I have me. a doubt. Yes, Sarah, just a minute. So first, King Eurystheus, he gave a difficult task to, to Hercules. Hercules went and met the nymph. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, so look at this. This is Hercules. King Eurystheus gave him a difficult task. So whom did he go and meet? He met the nymph, a female spirit who lives in the forest garden. And she said, you have to go and meet a man who is a navigator. Now, what is the meaning of navigator? Navigator is a man who gives you the directions to travel. So this is a man, uh, a man who changes his, right? Who changes his appearance. So you, he, he is called as navigator here. You have to go and meet navigator. He will help you out. So after that, what did the navigator try to become? He tried to become a kraken, kraken, right? Sea animal, just like an octopus. Then he told you have to go and meet Antius. Antius told you have to meet whom? No, it is guarded by hundred headed dragon. So it's not at all easy. So better you go and meet Atlas who is holding the earth on the shoulder. So yeah. Atlas was very happy to hand over the weight for some time to Hercules. He gave and Hercules was successful in bringing the apples back to the back to the kingdom. And what happened to King Eurystheus? King Eurystheus fainted, fell unconscious. So hope so you enjoyed the story. You understood the sequence. Did you understand the order of the story? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma now for the next class, what should you do? What should you do? You just tell me. You have to read this lesson, the Herculean task and be prepared. Come prepared for the next class. Will you do that? Will you read the lesson? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, thank you, my dear children. Have a good time. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, ma'am.